What's up, YouTubers? This is Jay Hazy here, and you're watching my Left 4 Dead 2 walkthrough. Uh, yeah. Well, here we go. This is Swamp Fever. This is Shantytown, the level. We are the humans facing the infected on a 4v4 match. Team versus. Let's get into it. Um. And a little side note, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to enter my contest for your chance to win $500 in prizes and 10 different shoutouts to your YouTube channels. Go check the About Me section on my YouTube page for that. Here we, uh, here I get screwed over, screwed over by Spit. And we're actually separated for a little bit there. One of my teammates was in there as the Spit had us outside of the house and one of us was in and the infected could have capitalized on that but they're definitely not American so they didn't <laughs> uh, I'm therefore just calling them stupid yeah I love Americans Americans are the best um, and also Europeans because I'm European so yeah <laughs> And Australians, and people from New Zealand, and people from Canada, obviously, and people from Sweden, and people from Norway, and people from England, the UK, or Britain, whichever way they want to say it. Not from there, so I don't know the proper way to say it. I call them either or. But this is kind of pointless. I pushed an adrenaline into myself so I can go in here and gather up all the inventory pretty quick because I realized I was alone. But then I, then somebody followed me, so I covered them. <coughs> here I heard there was a horde coming. So I pulled out my rock'em sock'em bat and started pummeling zombies heads off and stuff like that um, there was a ton of uh, health packs in here there's two little supply areas the one that I was at before and right here that you definitely do not want to miss because there's a lot of supplies in both of those rooms that will help your team extraordinarily after this attack and uh, so what we do is we wait until we kill all the zombies from this horde and then we start moving because here we can uh, pull up a thermopylae on them and get them through a little 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 doorway and uh, thermopylae their ass you don't know what thermopylae is it's the movie that 300 are based on and they made him attack through a little narrow passageway. That's how 300 people took on a million Persians. So even if we took on a million zombies, we could have done it with the Thermopylae technique. Call it your butt. <laughs> Here I do my typical Molotov on tank technique. You always want to do it every single time. I can't emphasize enough how useful it is. If you don't trust yourself with the Molotov, definitely give it to one of your teammates who has a good throwing arm. And you'll do some serious damage to the infected. Nah, man. Um, here I get blinded, fall off the little passageway, no big deal. Get right back into it. Definitely when you guys are fighting the mud men. Definitely a hundred percent uh you wanna crouch and start swinging because the mud men you're gonna have to aim down anyway, so why not crouch and get the mud men and the normal zombies at the same time? <clears throat> Here the tank uh went into the water to get rid of his uh his flameness <laughs> or because he was on fire, he went into the water, but we killed him, no big deal. Definitely if you're the tank and you're on fire on this level, go find some water and then re-attack. You don't want to take the damage for no reason because there's puddles of water everywhere. You just go into it, duck if it's not big enough, douse yourself in some water, and the Molotov will be basically useless. 
We're lucky that Better the opposing team didn't take advantage of this. Oh yeah, here one of the <laughs> one of the people on the opposing team uh, is complaining about lag shots and stuff like that. Meanwhile, he had the best pin, which made no sense because he's an idiot. Obviously, if you have the best thing, we're gonna have no lag, and we're gonna have lag now. You gotta love noobs. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. The little little pathway that we're waiting for to go down goes down a lot quicker than this. We should have actually been up here and passed this little part that we had to wait for, but we were separated. As we saw, one of my teammates got smoked over there. So we had to regroup again and then go over the plank. <coughs> Here we're running low on inventory, so I'm telling my teammates to just keep on running. If you're low on inventory like this, only do quick scans. As you can see there, I caught out the corner of my eye to get that, get that grenade. Do quick little scans for inventory and keep on moving forward into a place that you could thermopylae the zombies at. <laughs> and uh, you'll be fine. Here we hear that the horde is almost done. I went the actually wrong way because I split up with my team. But luckily somebody followed me, which is coach. I went the wrong way and I separated from my team, which is really bad right here. I should have stayed with the coach, but I think he would have got downed anyway. Here I take the pills because I'm limping. I know coach needs them more, but I need to pick up the coach as quick as possible because <clears throat> the horde keeps on coming at this part of the level. It keeps on coming almost to the point that if you fight every single last one of them, Oh, excuse me. You'll probably die. So it's best off to just kill minimal and run through it. There's no point because usually they don't give you a lot of inventory here. They give you a lot of inventory in those two spots that I pointed out earlier in the video. Then after that, they only give you little, little bits and pieces. I bet you a smoker is gonna. Oh, nice. Oh, jockey. Jockey. <clears throat> <laughs> so here I move a little bit ahead to clear out some of the zombies at the safe house while my team uh, get groups up again. Reloading. And I'm not worried if I get pounced because we're so close to the end and there's not that many spawn areas for the infected here. So that's why I went ahead. Here I think my teammate gets pulled down one more time by accident. <laughs> I run out of ammo. This is so sweet. I love it when it comes down to this, when you have absolutely no ammo, no nothing, and you just barely make it to the safe room. This is what you call a good video. Anyways, guys, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Or just subscribe if you want to enter the contest. This is Jay Hazy. You're watching my Leopard 2 walkthrough, and I'll be seeing you guys later.